It was the year 2019. A German studio by the name of Daedalic Entertainment, not a very well-known studio but had some decent games, had announced that they were set to develop and publish a game based off the highly prestigious Lord of the Rings franchise. And not only that, but it was announced to be centered around a specific character from the Tolkien lore. Huh. Wonder who? Maybe Gandalf? Aragorn? A Legolas game would be pretty neat. Or hell, a game centered around Sauron would be pretty sick. But who needs any of those losers when Gollum exists? Yeah, definitely a strange choice to make a big action-adventure single-player stealth game based off of an IP with a wide selection of interesting characters to make a game around, only to choose possibly the most limited of those characters. But I digress, and Lord of the Rings Gollum was underway. The problem was, the game was set to come out in 2021. What? Yeah, Gollum did not hit the intended 2021 release date, so it got delayed out of 2021 and into 2022, but it kept getting delayed to the point where it got delayed out of 2022 and into 2023. But above all odds, on May 25th, 2023, Lord of the Rings Gollum was released and was instantly labeled the worst game of the year. Okay, come on, how bad is it really? This came out, like, pretty soon after Redfall did, and I remember everyone saying that that was the de facto worst game of the year. It's also not like it was made by Game Mill Entertainment or anyone like that. So, once again, how bad can it really be? But there's only one way to find out. So, I'm gonna play Lord of the Rings Gollum. Wow, look at this work of art. Look at Gollum, he just seems so excited to go on this grand adventure. So the game starts with Gollum in prison while speaking only in rhymes. Not a terrible start, I'll see what happens. GET THE FUCK AWAY FROM ME! So now Elven King and Gandalf visit Gollum where Gandalf tells Elven King to fuck off and wants to hear what Gollum has to say. I really don't care, so let's move on over to the gameplay. Well, you know what they say, be careful what you wish for. You know, I can mention just how strange this is already, but I'm gonna mention the visuals, and the obvious thing to say is how bad it looks, and yeah, it doesn't look good, but I'm gonna say something somewhat controversial. This game almost looks good. Almost! I'm playing a patched version of the game, so it probably looks a lot better than it did at launch, but it still doesn't look right. But I can totally imagine how this would look if it looked better. You get what I'm saying? Press R2 and X for a far jump. Oh, so this is what's gonna happen. So I have no way of proving this, but the controls, how do I put it, um, uh, they don't always work. Like, right there, I pressed R2 and X to do the far jump, but the game just said, NOT FUCK YOU DUDE! And it's really weird because I tried it again, and it just works. Oh, I see you over there, Lord of the Rings Gollum. You're one of those games who only works when you want to! You don't wait for nobody! NOBODY! Oh boy, gotta make this jump! And thus, that is the story of Lord of the Rings Gollum. A story of tragedy. If only. So I've made it to this cutscene, and you see what I mean when I say the game almost looks good? I can imagine a better looking version of this game, but then look at fucking Gollum! Wow, more climbing. Cool. Because when the idea of a Gollum game came up, I said that if the only thing you have the player do is not climb, I'm not gonna be there! Okay, fine, I shouldn't say that climbing's the only thing you get to do. Not at all, actually, you know, you get to run, you get to jump... You think I'm joking? No, I'm serious when I say all Gollum can do is run, jump, and climb. WHAT IS THIS GAME?! Okay, to be fair, you know, I am at the very beginning of the game, so maybe there is other stuff later. And other stuff there is. Not. The game tells me to hold R2 and sprint towards the wall, which, in other words, it's another way to climb a goddamn wall. And here's the game deciding whether or not it wants to work again. You see, though, when you get to this part, you gotta sprint towards the wall, and so I get to do a wall run, which sounds fucking awesome, but, uh, 
you know, it's not awesome because it doesn't work. God. Fuck. Fucking stupid. You crusty ass bitch, run! 346 minutes later. <laughs> What the fuck? Believe me when I say that I did nothing different. You don't want to know how many fails I had to cut out. But once again, the game just decided to work randomly. Holy shit. I forgot the lights. There, that was there the whole time. So as for objectives, I'm now following a crow. Not sure why I'm following a crow, but hey, crows are pretty cool. Wow, guys, nice vines over there. Oh, yeah, now the game just became a stealth game. These two guys over here, they were never supposed to see me. So let me get this straight. I've been playing this game up until now, getting from point A to point B, but all of a sudden there are these two guys I'm supposed to hide from. The game gives me no indication that I'm supposed to hide from them. Also, this game is all of a sudden a stealth game. WHAT AM I PLAYING?! Okay, I gotta get away from those guys. Let's hope they don't find me. Um... Guys? Hold on a sec. So you know how in like most stealth games, you, you get caught and you have to restart the mission? Or you get caught and now everyone is on your ass? Well, these guys must be fucking stupid because how did they not see me?! Oh, now they show up? Wait, wait, um, wait, wait, what? These guys, they're some real dumbasses. That was a lot to take in. So the game randomly becomes a stealth game. I then run in front of two bad guys. Nothing happens when something should, but then they come up from behind, but then a cutscene plays. Gollum jumps into a pit, and now these two guards Cannot see Gollum in their direct line of sight? This is a game where you play as Gollum. Why am I asking so many questions? Okay, Gollum finally gets to catch the birds he was after. Now, time to see what all this was about. As I see all they says, all lands and mountains might see bags. Gollum, buddy! What are you doing? So yeah, this cutscene introduces Smeagol. Cool. You see, guys, they didn't just make a game around Gollum, they made a game around Gollum and Smeagol! So now we get into an admittedly more uh, traditional stealth section, but this time, now we got like a Jekyll and Hyde thing going on with Gollum and Smeagol. I, I guess that's how I'll put it. Sneak up and hold triangle for the ambush. <gasps> oh my god! Holy shit! The game is telling me to do something that isn't run, jump, or climb! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> you know, I didn't think you had it in you! But it doesn't end there. I now have to gather some rocks and throw them. Okay, Gollum. So, you can do... stuff. So now Gollum slash Smeagol sees a beetle. Bars. But more importantly, this is when the presence of Smeagol comes into play, as you get the option to do what Gollum would do, and that's kill the beetle, or do what Smeagol would do, and that's keep watching. You guys better be doing that. But it's not really what I just described, that was only half of it. Once you select, for example, Gollum wanting to kill the beetle, y you now have to convince Smeagol to kill the beetle. And I lost the argument. So now a cutscene plays where Gollum slash Smeagol, and I'll just refer to them as Gollum for brevity's sake, but a cutscene plays where he gets chased into this dungeon, and Gollum does a double take. The, the, that, was cut, that was odd. Oh no! What's gonna happen to Gollum now? Oh man... Poor Gollum! I, I just feel so bad for him! You see, this actually looks cool, but then we get back to this bullshit and- Wait... Go Gollum's in jail? 
again? I'm sorry, I can't keep playing, you know? I know I've asked this so many times in this video, but... What even is this game? Right down to its concept, this game is flawed. You take a franchise like The Lord of the Rings, an IP with an endless amount of characters, and you make a game around fucking Gollum. You know, probably written to be the most defenseless of all characters. Why was this game delayed out of 2021 and still looks like this? Why are the controls often really unresponsive? Why is the story so boring? Why are the quests designed like a game from 2007? Why was this $60 at launch? Why did they Dalek post an apology written by ChatGPT where they said Lord of the Ring twice and not Lord of the Rings? Why did they Dalek mistreat and overwork their employees? Why did they Dalek shut down? Actually, I kind of just told you all the reasons why they shut down. Yeah, checks out.